We're going to stop, maybe even rock back a step and turn. The other thing I just want to go over really quickly is horses drop their shoulder on cows, and it's kind of a misnomer, this dropping shoulder thing. It makes sense because because it feels like that, but that's not really what happens. But they lean, and they turn their head away from the cow, and they lean. And it's usually more pronounced on that left side because that's their, their, their stiff side. So <clears throat> to the right side, they usually tend to be more hollow, and they actually look up into the cow more to the right than they do to the left. But we always want to be sure we have our horse's nose first so that they follow their nose through their body, through the cow. The cow pulls them through the turn, but they always go nose first, just like when we were spinning, right? So if I'm going around this way and I feel like my horse maybe isn't paying attention and Doug turns and he starts whoa, doing one of those, I'm going to stop, back, get that nose tip, get that shoulder up before I let him take the turn. Much more apt to happen this way because they're stiff, they tend to look off a little bit, and then they try to hurry the turn by dropping their shoulder and leaning to the left. And if that happens, I'm going to stop, back, keep my horse's hip engaged, and let him take the turn. Okay? That's really kind of cow basic 101. All kinds of stuff's going to come up. Let it be. So we need to spread out and help her get one cut out on the outside wall. And then we'll be right there. This is a big pen. I mean, we might need another person or two, but we'll see. Uh, Cindy, you need to get around those cattle and put them back in the middle so we don't get fired. There you go. I would tip that nose, yep, just a little bit while you've got time. When you don't have time, you don't have time, but when you do, nice, good. Try to sit for your turn and not pull. Sit first, then if your horse doesn't stop, then you can pull. But whenever you pull on one, you make him focus on you and not on the cow. So the less you have to pull on him, the better. But drop your weight down, like let your air out, sit down for that stop. And if he doesn't read that, then you need to pull on him hard, quick, get in, get out. Just like everything else, we want to make that correction. Get in, get out. Don't stay for the war. Win that battle real quick. Be done with it. Forgive him and get on with it. Now, <clears throat> as cute as your horse is with his ears, he doesn't, he's not cowing much, huh? So let's get a little bit of cow on him. What I mean by that is, like, just stop right there and sit for a sec, Cindy, hang on. Just squeeze with your feet and see where he walks. Leave him alone. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. Now, when he, stop and back him up a step before you let him take that turn. When you're stepping straight up to a cow, rock him back and let him take that turn. But, like, right now, when he's not looking, don't help him. Stop, stop, stop. Don't help him. He's looking over here. That's a magnet. Let him walk off over there. Go ahead, squeeze him with your feet and let him walk off over there. You don't care. Now drag him right back to that cow. Drag him, both hands, both hands, go. But right up into that cow. Right up into it. Because he wasn't paying a lick. Let him walk off. It does, if he walks off, that's better. Don't, just let him walk off whenever he thinks that's such a good idea. Because we got to get him cowing up a little bit. There you go. Good. Now squeeze him and just see where he goes. Leave your hands down. Better. Good. Now be, just be thinking rock back and turn when it comes time. Squeeze him up to it. Let him walk off if he wants to. Let him walk off. Let him walk off. Drag him back. Hard. Both hands. Right to that cow. Good. Perfect. That's sort of the equivalent of the steering exercise we did, right? It's like picking your dog up, whack, 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 you know? What are you thinking? You're supposed to be cowing. Good. Oh, better. Better. And as much, do as much with your feet as you can. Squeeze up. He's hooked now, so that's good. And just be sure it's a crisp turn left and right, no going forward toward the cow. Sit for your stop, don't pull. Then pull him at the end and back him up hard. There, because you gave him the chance to stop. You sat, cow stopped, you asked, he didn't. So he suffers the consequences, which is just a quick pull into the ground, back up, leave him alone. Squeeze him off. Squeeze him off. Let him walk off if he thinks so. Drag him back. He had a thought there, though. He didn't really want to walk off. You saw that with his ears, right? Squeeze him up. Sit for your stop. Don't pull. Sit first, then drag him into the ground if he doesn't. Good. 
There, nice. Good. 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 Don't let him go forward when he's turning left and right. Good, sit, and when he, you sit, he needs to stop, not dribble, he needs to stop. I would, I would sit a little bit more and then pull him into the ground a little bit quicker. Squeeze him up, kick him over there, there you go. Good. Okay, you wanna cut your second cow? Nice job. So does that make sense when he wasn't focused on the cow? He's looking somewhere else, let him walk off over there into the trap and then whop right back to the cow. That cow does that to him, okay? You're not doing it to him, the cow is. The cow's like when a dog's on a long leash and you go and you jerk him back, that's what the cow's doing to him and you wanna kinda of time it like that so that the cow punishes him for not paying attention. It's quick and it works great. Now, did all of you pay attention to which cow she cut first? Hello? Yeah, okay. We should have named those cows before we got started, but we didn't. We'll do that next time. Use your foot. Now pick that shoulder up so you're not chasing, but you've got a little better shape on your, on your horse. Back him up, perfect. You gave him the chance. He didn't do it. Perfect, back him up. But as you came around the corner, you didn't have a lot of shape to him until you got his nose up and, and got him in a little bit better frame. Think left and right, no going forward when you're turning left and right. There you go. Put a little shape to him, sit for your stop, back him up, back him up. Perfect, now go with the cow. Just right. Back him up, you sat quite a ways back and he didn't stop. Shape, shape, put a little bit of shape on him, tip his nose, stand that shoulder up, make it work. There you go. Sit, back him up, good. He just doesn't hit the deck quite as, uh, well, just quite as good as I would like him to. You can move it, Cindy. No leaning, sit up straight. Good, very nice. Good. Okay, now wait one sec, stop. You can cut that cow again as soon as you get it stopped if you need to. But you, you tried to stand his shoulder up and make him do it right and he didn't and you let him turn anyway. Okay, that's a bad deal because now he thinks that he can argue with you and still win, right? If that happens and they've actually got you beat and there is no resurrecting it, you can turn the opposite way. Just don't ever do it at a horse show. It works really good to do that, you know, you just take them so by surprise, like they're fighting and they're halfway through the turn and you, you go the other way. It really alarms them, but it's better than letting them take that turn incorrectly after they've been arguing with you, Sid. There you go. And you know what I was talking about, right? Okay. Going down the fence when they get to leaning on a cow, we turn them the opposite way too. I remember the first time I ever saw Greg Ward do it, I was horrified. But when I saw how good it worked, I, <laughs> I reconsidered. Anytime you're a contrarian, you make the, the horse do exactly the opposite of what they're thinking they want to do, it usually works pretty good once in a while. Squeeze up to it. Good. Good. You sat. He didn't stop. There you go. So he needs a little bit more of that, right? And, uh, I mean, other than that, he looks good, other than, you know, he comes unhooked from time to time, which three-year-olds will. I mean, it's no big deal. But when he comes unhooked, it's good to let him get himself in trouble and then bring him right back to that cow.